Globally, it's a far greater killer than car crashes, smoking, or HIV AIDS. Research has shown us that pollution is cutting the lives of billions of people by up to six years. Pollution is not only harming humans physically, but also mentally. And new research now proves that a rise in pollution may increase the need for mental health assistance. We have growing evidence that polluted air may adversely affect uh, the brain. In our study, which is uh, one of the uh, first of its kind, uh, we showed evidence of an association between air pollution derived by traffic and severity of uh, mental disorders. Uh, specifically, what we show is that uh, service users that were, that were exposed to more polluted air uh, were more likely to attend uh, the mental health services more frequently. This study did not draw these conclusions overnight. It involved 13,000 people who were previously seeking mental health care, and it happened over seven years. Now, the researchers commented that all of the pollutants they monitored had some effect on our mental health. However, pollutants associated with traffic seemed to spike the need for mental health services the most. The strongest evidence was for nitrogen oxide, so NO2 and NOx, in that these pollutants were associated with the greatest increase in risk. Uh, so, for example, we found that for every 15 micrograms increase in NO2, uh, risk for inpatient use increased by 18% and risk for community-based service use increased by 32% one year after diagnosis. Now here is how that pollution may enter into your body and reach your brain, creating a neuroinflammation. Pollutants could, um, from the nasal pathway, from the nose basically, could um, directly uh, translocate it to the, to the brain or they could be inhaled and uh, move uh, towards the respiratory tract system and from the, from the blood, they could be again reallocated to the, to the brain. So now the question is, how do we use this information and where do we go next? So air pollution is, of course, a huge problem around the world, but um, it is modifiable. And so, for instance, air pollution can be substantially reduced in various ways at the local level such as by creating um, clean air zones in cities, which curb road traffic from the most heavily polluting vehicles. No level of air pollution is considered safe. And it's information like this that should urge Canadians to better understand that clean air is essential to our well-being.